This is a Warwick Trading Company Bioscope camera from around 1903. You can see another YouTube video on this camera by entering Bioscope Camera in the YouTube search engine. Now this camera is a Williamson kinematograph from around 1909. The first movie cameras in Hollywood were wood. These are exactly the type of cameras that worked the early years. These early times might be called Hollywood's lost years, as so very little is known about this period. Now, one has to remember that Hollywood started making movies years before metal cameras became popular. Wood movie cameras are from the Genesis period of Hollywood. If only these cameras could talk. I'm finding that these early cameras are working their way back into Hollywood, and I'm so very pleased about this. The latest trend is for producers to gift these cameras to directors, actors, and agents as an extra item along with their customary signing bonus. The list of people that have been gifted these early movie cameras is really very impressive. Together, these two cameras would make a stunning display. Now I'm going to put the camera demo for this camera at the head of this video. So there's more information after the demo, so please stay with it. So this is a Williamson kinematograph from around 1909. Um, it's on a precision Motion Picture Apparatus Company Incorporated Precision Tripod and Gearhead. And the camera looks like this when it's running. Has a uh, original footage counter with original Williamson logo in there, uh, Williamson kinematograph lens, which is quite rare. Uh, they're usually been uh, removed and upgraded. Camera has a key on the back. And you open the film side of the camera. Has one of my favorite things ever. Has binoculars. One of the mats is still with the camera binoculars. Love that thing. Now this is a supply mag. And so you put the brand new mag in there with a load of film. You thread the film through the camera, pull the viewing tube back, open the pressure plate, thread your film, put your viewing tube back in, pull the light plug here, look through here and get uh, critical focus right on the film. And then you put the light plug back in and you're ready to shoot. Camera still has both magazines with original Williamson Kinematograph Company logo on them. On the back of the camera, this is a tie-down screw that holds the top magazine in place. And here's the bottom tie-down screw and of course the viewing tube. Williamson Kinematograph, around 1909. Thanks for sticking around after the demo of the camera. One has to understand that in the beginning, there weren't movies. They were animated pictures. They were a one-step-up progression from still camera images to moving camera images. No one really believed that there was much of a uh, future for animated pictures. They were just a quirky novelty. It was James Williamson and the Genesis generation that wrote the film grammar 
that carried animated pictures to the point where motion picture industry became possible. This William Cam Williamson camera is around, from around 1908 or 1909. The patent is 2178-08. The 08 is the year the patent was issued, so it must have been applied for in 1907. This is an amazing example of early cine cameras. Being the owner of this camera is very much like owning one of the very first Gutenberg printing presses. It was exactly this type of camera that altered the very concept of time for human beings. Historically, time had always been a universal flow in one direction. Now all of a sudden, there was forward, reverse, time lapse, and super slow motion. At no other time in human history could one view the slow motion beating of an insect's wings or the birth of a plant from seed to flowering in just a few seconds of real time. No one had ever seen a steam locomotive go backwards and swallow its own smoke. For us, in the beginning of the 21st century, this is so commonplace as to be almost boring. For people at the beginning of the 20th century, these kinds of images were stunning, exciting, and fascinating. It was the technology that captured people's attention. Now, I said this in another one of my videos, and I thought it profound enough to repeat it. Around the time this camera was manufactured, more than a billion people had yet to see a moving image. At the end of the 19th century, animated pictures had just begun. It has grown and continues to grow to this day and well into the foreseeable future. Today, moving images are amazing. They're present in nearly everything in our lives. They're in motion picture theaters, televisions, computers, tablets, jumbotrons, at sports stadiums, rock concerts and billboards, and even in our mobile phones. We can see where this gradual process of change began. It was here with the very origins of cinema. Before Hollywood movie pioneers, there was the genesis generation of movie makers. These people were in the movie business before movies were called movies. This was the period from about 1894 or 5 up until 1910. In 1900, James Williamson was one of the first people that conceptualized and then figured out through editing how to manipulate the movie format to tell a proper story in a linear time fashion and maintain a continuity that was understandable. It's such a simple concept that it's difficult for people from the 21st century to think that such an idea didn't exist in the Genesis generation. Today, we can easily do this style of editing in our phones. James Williamson was a genius in so many ways. He purchased a projector in 1897 and converted it into a camera and started making movies. He made 39 films in 1898. His catalog from mid-1899 listed 60 films. His films were released through the Warwick Trading Company, headed by the American Charles Urban. Among other firsts, Williamson invented the race against time. That scenario is still used today and can often be seen as countdown clocks in spy thrillers. James Williamson is credited with making 222 movies in 13 years, starting in 1897 and ending in 1910. His movies were so well done that people asked Williamson to make cameras for them too. 
Another cutting edge bit of inventive movie making was when Williamson had one of the first purpose built glass movie studios constructed on his property in 1902. This is one of James Williamson's cameras. There's no way to put a definitive date on this camera, but an educated thought process places this camera near 1909 plus or minus a year or two. Please feel free to contact me with any questions about this camera or any other camera through my website, samdodge.com.